Um, I missed the opportunity. I think I think that um, there was a I was a, there was a tour that I missed to check this out. How did Frame Tech come to life, and how is it changing the construction game? Because I'm all about this. Because I coach construction people are entering into the field, making the transition into the construction industry, and I have my own notions. I can't wait. Let's just 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 let's give me the do give me the deuce. Give me the deuce. <laughs> It, it start it started in, in the guy's brain that had been around doing things, putting trusses together and building walls for decades. And he had this idea about let's do something different. It's it's interesting. Construction is close to education in terms of how fast it evolves. It takes decades. In fact, the last major, major thing that hit market, like mass market adoption was the nail gun in 1954. So it's been 71 years. And with the reality is we have a problem. We're not building enough housing. We're about 10 million units We're behind short, where we go yeah. backwards about a half a million a year. And it's because we don't have enough production and our, our techniques are, and the people aren't available. So the idea here with frame tech is that we component building where you build walls, you build trusses in a factory, and then you bring them out is how you get more framing out there. And framing is the core for most 92% of building. It's wood framing. And we have all these other ideas with concrete and 3D printing, but the core of what is used to build is still wood. It's sustainable. And, but the problem is you can't get it. It's not, not enough is being produced. When you solve that problem, it, it, there's a ripple effect through everything else. 